Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Rebecca with a quick video. Well, many of you guys out there know that I picked Hanimori's Him Eau de Parfum as my number one fall designer fragrance of 2018, but I haven't had a chance to get my nose on the original um, that really started off the men's line for Hanimori. So let's take a look at HM from the House of Hanimori. Stay right there. So I'm a little late to the party with this fragrance. Uh, it's been it's been out for quite some time, and I'm just now getting around to trying it. Uh, but I guess better late than never. So from the house of Hani Mori, let's check out HM. So HM from the house of Hani Mori is an oriental woody fragrance released in 1997. I don't know the nose behind this fragrance, and it is an eau de toilette concentration. All right, so let's check out the presentation. Okay, so here is the box for HM. As you can see, it's a pretty plain box. Got a smoke gray thing going on, which I do like that color a lot. That's actually the color of my car. Um, we have the silver HM there with the name of the house. It's embossed in there so you can feel it. Uh, kind of has a skinny box, kind of like Serge Lutin, uh, but it's a uh, you know, decent looking box. Not too bad. Let's check out the bottle. So here is the bottle for HM Hani Mori for Men. Beautiful bottle here, guys. If you can see, it has a frosted glass. Very simplistic. Not a lot going on with this bottle, but I do like it because it just has that really pretty frosted glass. Almost makes it look like it's crystal. Has a silver cap here. Has the letter HM on top there. Um, has a silver atomizer. Uh, looks exactly like um, the bottle from him, which was the fall fragrance they released with the amber and the cinnamon and whatnot in it, uh, which is a great fragrance, guys, if you haven't tried that one yet. All right, so here are the notes for Hani Mori for Men. In the top, we have lemon, lavender, blackcurrant, and spearmint. In the mid, we have rose, jasmine, iris, and lily of the valley. And in the base, we round things off with amber, moss, chocolate, tonka bean, vanilla, cedarwood, and sandalwood. So I don't know what to expect from this fragrance. I'm hoping it's as good as him, because um, that one was really great. Um, I do know they make an eau de parfum version of this, so if this one's any good, uh, I'm probably going to get that one, because I just hear it's the same exact notes, just amped up a little, just to give it a little more staying power. Um, some of these notes do intrigue me. I do like that it has chocolate and amber and vanilla, uh, sandalwood and cedarwood. It's gonna be very, very woody and maybe very sweet. Um, the black currant in the lavender and the lemon kind of give it like a uh, kind of a fruity, kind of a fresh top. So I don't really know where this fragrance is going. Uh, it's kind of just be going all over the place here. I don't really know what to expect. If it's gonna be a fresh scent or if it's gonna be a gourmand scent, I guess we'll see. I mean, I heard a lot of good things about it, so I guess we'll check it out. Good sprayer. Hmm, okay. Yeah, um, definitely getting all the citrus notes on top. Definitely getting a lot of the lemon. Getting some of that spearmint because it's nice and cool. Getting the, the, the lavender note. The black currant is very sharp and very juicy. It's a very juicy black currant. Hmm, wow. Um, it's starting to get a little woody. But it's still like in the top notes, so it's still very fruity and very fresh. Hmm. This kind of reminds me a little bit of another fragrance that I've tried from the House of Gardelan. I can't remember which one it was. Um, this one, does, I want to say it was like um, Habit Rouge. I think Habit Rouge has some of the same top notes in it. This just has sort of like those same kind of fresh lemony opening notes. The, the lemon note is very strong in this. It's like almost like lemon head candies. You know how they're real tart? Yeah, so the lemon note in this is definitely dominating everything. I'm starting to get little hints of that chocolate, but it's I, I'm seeing how it's gonna, gonna blend in there eventually, but right now it really is just a lot of lemon and black currant. That spearmint is definitely giving it a bit of a freshness as well, but it's not overpowering like some other fragrances that have spearmint in them. Yeah, that chocolate note's definitely starting to come in. I mean, the first few minutes, it is kind of linear. It really is just a very lemon heavy. Some might say it reminds them of, like, of a lemon cleaner, um, but there's no like, you know, there's no like harsh cleaner notes in it. It just really is very lemony. But if you like lemons, you're gonna like this fragrance. Hmm, that chocolate note is blending very well. Uh, with the lemon note, it's starting to kind of turn on slowly, you know. The uh, tonka bean, I'm assuming, is going along pretty well with the chocolate note as well because they're both sort of gourmandish, kind of sweet uh, notes. I'm not getting much of the amber yet. I'm, I'm assuming that moss is in there somewhere. I'm not, I'm not getting any of the, of the floral notes. None of the rose, no iris, jasmine, or lily in the valley. Not yet. I'm sure those will come in because they are in the mid. 
but I'm sure that, I mean, this is kind of, this is a pretty good fragrance. It's, it's perfectly blended because it's not really so much like, it's slowly kind of moving into itself here. You know, you're not getting it all like sort of at once where you're kind of, you know, kind of bouncing back and forth between notes. I mean, minus the very like strong lemon note, you can get all those other uh, notes. I'm not really getting a lot of the floral notes, but I'm getting a lot of that, you know, the top notes. I'm getting the uh, vanilla. Um, I'm sure the vanilla is going to be a lot sweeter in the dry down. But I'm starting to get those wood notes, the sandalwood, the cedarwood, the chocolate note. Um, wow, this is a pretty unique in the sense to where I haven't seen a lot of these other notes in the mid and the base mixed with these top notes. These top notes are pretty standard when it comes to, to men's fragrances, you know, a lot of the, the lemon and the lavender. Uh, black currant, I think, was a nice touch because it is very, it's very tart and very juicy. So you get some of that black currant note, but that lemon note really is taken, you know, taken away from the black currant, but it's starting to come in a little bit now. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate this fragrance. I think this is a 1.7 ounce, and I want to say I saw these for about 17 bucks this size um, on Amazon and in the 100 mils for under 25 on eBay. But that's for Art de Toilette. Um, the Parfum, you know, I'd be interested to see, um, you know, I'm assuming it's gonna be close because the Him um, was almost identical. It just lasted longer. And I wanna say I read that about this one as well. It's just a lighter version. I think even online, when you look it up, it just comes up as one because they know they don't have to make two separate pages for them. But yeah, I like this fragrance so far. It's not like, you know, jaw dropping, but it's nice. And for the price, this might be a cheap, a good fragrance. So I'll, you know, obviously in the update, I'll let you guys know if it's worth it or not. But right now, it's 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 not offensive. It's very fresh. It's clean. It's fruity. The opening screams daytime. The the presentation screams daytime. Um, but the dry down is starting to get a little creamy. It's getting a little more gourmandy. It's getting a little sexier. Um, a little more playful. So, you know, maybe even date night I'm starting to go, because it's starting to, it's starting to cross here. We're going from, from like daytime to nighttime here, you know, because of these notes. I, I had a feeling that the top notes were gonna be like the daytime, and then the, the base notes, um, the amber, the chocolate, the tonka bean, and the vanilla are gonna be sort of like, almost like a sexier kind of warm, creamy, uh, you know, maybe even spicy fragrance from the wood notes. Yeah, but this is, a, this is a nice fragrance so far. I'm pleasantly surprised with this one, especially for the price. Um, Definitely think I'm gonna get the Eau de Parfum version now um, because just right now, because if it lasts longer and it smells the same, I mean, why not? It's a few dollars more. All right, so I'm gonna make this fragrance my scent of the day and probably give it a few more wearings in the next couple of days and uh, give you guys an update shortly. Talk to you then. All right, guys, well, I'm back with my update for Honey Mori for Men. So it's been a couple of days um, and as you can see, I've uh, put quite a dent in this fragrance. I've worn this one for the last two or three days, uh, afternoons and evenings. And I must say, I like this fragrance. Uh, but, I, but I will say it's not for everybody, um, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but it did open with that you know, nice, lemony, fresh, uh, zesty kind of lemon note um, that I mentioned before. After about an hour, this fragrance really did remind me of a couple of other fragrances. It really did remind me of Angel for Women. Um, that's because it has the chocolate note and the citrus notes. And it also reminds me of Bond Number Nine's I Love New York Holidays. And I believe that fragrance has chocolate as well, citrus notes, and some apricot that kind of gives it the same feel as Angel for Women. Um, this fragrance sort of has that same feel as well. It has the chocolate notes, it has the citrus notes. Now the citrus notes in this one come from the lemon, uh, but overall I still get the same kind of feel um, that those two other fragrances that I mentioned before uh, sort of have, that same chocolatey uh, kind of citrusy feel. That, and this one does have that as well. Now this one is a bit more masculine uh, than those other two. So I would say if you like those two fragrances that I mentioned, but you're like, man, they're just a little too feminine. Um, and the bond number nine for holidays is unisex, but still to me, it does smell like it's more geared towards women. Uh, you're gonna like this fragrance then because it does start with that lemony opening, but it does dry down to a chocolatey, citrus, kind of powdery, um, kind of fragrance that I liked. Um, now I'm gonna say it's not for everybody. If you're looking for something mainstream and crowd-pleasing, uh, you're probably not gonna get it here because like I said, 
I think that note combination, the chocolate, the citrus notes, it's almost like fresh but gourmand. So it's sort of, I don't know, it kind of falls in two different categories there. Um, so that's what I'm going to say. It's not really for everybody. I like the scent, but this fragrance honestly didn't last that long. Um, the first couple of hours were pretty good. Decent little projection, maybe about a foot for the first two hours. Um, but after that, I got really close to the skin. And overall, I got about six hours. Um, maybe seven on a hot day, but it's cool out right now. So I got about six hours and you know by the six hour It is a really close skin scent um, But I am gonna try the parfum version because if it's anything like him uh, the parfum version It's gonna last a lot longer now, if you can find a 50 mil for around 18 to 20 dollars Especially if it's a parfum version. I think it's a good deal I think I venture to say it is a cheap but good fragrance. I think it's safe for the office. It's good for date night I think I didn't get a lot of compliments with it, but it does smell nice. It's not off-putting. It's not unpleasant So is anyone out there a fan? of Honey Moy for Men. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know your thoughts on this fragrance down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching another video on my channel. If you like this video and want to see more videos like it, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider signing up for notifications by hitting that notification bell. That way when I upload new videos, you'll be the first to find out. Please follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. Please like, comment, subscribe. And until next video, you guys take care. Thanks.